guys. So did you ever think that maybe a small gesture that you do or something that you might say can really change how a person perceives their own life? Well, with everything that's going on right now, it just seems like we don't take out time to do the small things because it's actually really the small things that can change a whole person's perspective on life, on their own life, or, or what they'll do with the rest of their life. And it could be a positive thing or it can be a negative thing. And so I actually wrote a list of 10 things that we can do that are very small, don't cost us anything except for our own time which we're so greedy with, but I know that, you know, we only, we're only each given whether we're um, somebody that lives on the street or somebody that is a million billionaire, we only get 24 hours in a day, so we're very limited with it. But if we take out some of it for someone else, we can make a whole world of a difference. So in no particular order, I'm going to start the list at number Keep your head up and smile. Did you know when you walk down the street with that confidence, not that cockiness, but with just confidence with your head up smiling, you notice that when you smile at somebody, most likely they're going to get a smile back. And it just, a smile just gives off so much warmth and energy and why not have warmth and an energy all around you and it is contagious you smile somebody else's smile and that person smiles and it'll create another person's smile and so on and so forth and why not do that it just remember that fact it takes it takes less muscles to smile than to frown definitely true and there's a reason why God made it like that number two have a conversation with a small child or the elderly. That's an interesting one uh, that I wrote. When I, when I I wrote this list a while ago and I never made this video, but with everything that's going on, you know, I decided to make this video. And having a conversation with a small child or the elderly. Um, I'll go with a small child first. Young children. They're not dumb. They're bright and brilliant and like sponges. And one thing that I've learned when I was younger that my fifth grade teacher taught me was this phrase, trash in, trash out. In other words, what you put in is what you're going to get out. And if you give them encouragement, if you t speak to them like just a regular, normal human being, not just all and think that they don't understand, the capacity of a child is way greater than what we could ever think and remember we were once a child too you know sometimes if we give them something like a little specialness to it then they'll know that they're somebody that's great and that can achieve greatness and the elderly did you know that sometimes especially here I noticed that you know being from an Asian background um, this never happened my grandmother she actually still lives um, with my aunts or my mom um, she goes around and she sees her grandkids and we take care of our elderly in the in the Eastern culture but over here there's just so many like retirement homes senior living um, the old folks home if you know we call it those kind of things um, assisted living because we're so busy. You know, sometimes these elderly people, these people that are older and their kids have left the nest a long time ago and had their own family, they they live alone. They, they don't interact with anybody. And sometimes when you have the smallest of conversation, they feel alive once again. We don't, we forget that maybe these men and women, they used to be, they were, someone they actually they are someone great because they were the people that fought those wars they were the people that nursed possibly our moms and our dads and our other family members they're the ones that encouraged what was the future generation which is now the current generation they created greatness and now they've been put down to something that is almost vile and, and degrading, 
But there was, they were someone that had a lot of vigor, just like you and me, right now. How would you like to be treated like, like the way these older people are getting treated right now, 40, 50 years from now, 60 years from now? I don't think you'd like it. But we do it every single day. Every single day. I'm just saying, have a small conversation with them. They have so much to share, so much wisdom that just needs to be heard. You know, maybe if we listen to them, history wouldn't repeat itself. Number three, write a thank you note or carry a pad of post-its and write inspiring slash kind words. Now, this is an interesting one, and you got to kind of be bold because people are kind of... Uh, protective of their stuff if you do the post-it note thing but a thank you note a thank you note costs nothing sometimes it could just be on a piece of notepad that you rip off thanking someone for doing something small it doesn't have to be big because you know why it's momentum it's something that they can carry I can tell you that I keep a box of birthday cards, and thank you notes, and I remember I was going reading through one and I remember I received a thank you note and I had no clue who this person was and I sat there for literally five minutes thinking, who is this person? This person that wrote me a thank you note, I found her grandmother's costume jewelry ring outside of the store I was working at when I was a teenager. It's a teenage job. And I valued it enough to ask to be kept, to have it kept in our store safe. I worked at a reed fabric store and she had called and asked for it. And I recalled the ring and I told her that we had it. And she wrote me a thank you note. And I actually remember she actually also got a $5 Starbucks gift card for me as well. And I kept it. And I kept it all the way till now. Almost 10 years later. It's those small things. Something that we can keep as a memento. To remind us. That. It's not always about us. It's about somebody else. In the post-it note. We come up with inspiring things all the time. Do you know how many women out there in the world. Think that they're ugly. Do you know how many men think that they're incompetent? Do you know how many children out there think that they are dumb and stupid? If you write something like, no matter what, you're beautiful, or I believe in you, you can become greatness, and you stick it on their car, you stick it on their shopping car, you stick, these can be for people you know are perfect strangers, bathroom stalls, don't know what kind of difference you can make. You can make an immensely big difference in their lives just by a few words of kindness. You can move the world with kindness and love. I'm just saying. Number four, I think. <laughs> Call an old friend and just let them know you're thinking about interesting I think nowadays people tend to keep their number or their cell number a lot more than they did maybe 10 years ago I remember people would always upgrade their phone and then to get the best upgrade they would always get a new phone number but now honestly for me I've never changed my number I've had the same cell phone number for the last 11 years when I think about it 11 years I've had the same cell phone number and my thing or my rationale about it is that what if someday somebody wants to call me? They find an old yearbook, they find an old note, they find something that has my phone number on it. I want them to feel confident that when they dial that number, I'll be on the other line. And, you know, sometimes you just want to be remembered. You want to be know, you want to know that you're loved and cherished. And sometimes you don't know where that person is in their life, where they stand in their life. And 
just giving them a quick call, a quick hello. How are you doing? How's life treating you? It could change their world. So why don't you guys go through your phone list. Sync it. If you guys have an Android phone or I think even the iPhones, you can sync your contact list so you don't lose your contacts. Go through it. Find something you haven't talked to in, say, half a year, year, two years. Give them a call. Trust me, they'll be glad you called. Number five, um, talk to someone you normally don't talk to. Is there a coworker? Do you guys work in like a big office building? You see somebody in the elevator when you take it all the time, but you've never said anything more than a good morning to them? Talk to them. You might have something in common. You actually might live a very similar life, similar background. We live in our own little worlds doing this all the time. On our phone, looking, pretending to see what time it is, seeing if we have another email. Let's open our mouths. Let's share our hearts. Talk to a stranger. But not stranger danger, okay? <laughs> uh, number six. Tell someone that they're beautiful. Um, I think this is definitely more for a girl thing, but beauty is something from within that shines out. And sometimes we need to pick me up. We need to know that what we do is beautiful. How we convey ourselves, how the world perceives us, we can't see, um, you know, all that stuff. If you guys watch that Dove video where they have the sketch artist um, being dis and they have a person of a woman sit there and describe herself to the sketch artist, he doesn't see her, and then I guess these people mingle with that same person and they sit down with the sketch artist and they describe her, um, and then they put the pictures side by side. And the thing is that we perceive ourselves as full of flaws while others see what shines. So telling somebody something they're beautiful, they'll be able to shine a lot brighter. Number seven, be a true neighbor. Um, I'm not trying to be all Christian-like and be like, love thy neighbor. But there is truth to that. Being kind to the people that surround you to watch out. There's a reason why uh, neighborhood watches work. There's a reason why, you know, you, there's a neighborhood. When you're in a neighborhood or in a, in a, in a uh, scenario where everybody watches out for everybody, you'll see that bad things are prevented and people watch out for each other and there's no motive there's no um, reason no kind of super benefit to it it's just kind of care and the feeling is mutual so everybody benefits so be a true neighbor number eight cook a meal for your loved ones trust me I don't cook I don't cook at all I could, I tell, I tell the joke of I could probably burn water. I have never burned water, but if you give me a chance, I probably could. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. When you cook from your heart and you try your very best, and even if it doesn't taste all that good, you put this in here. A chef in the restaurant, or if you go and you go out and eat, who knows if he or she puts their heart, and even if they do, they put their heart just because. You put your heart out because you love those people. So, uh, try cooking.com. Try a simple recipe. Trust me, it'll be delicious because it's made with love. Number, I don't even know anymore. Next one. 
Give a small gift to someone for absolutely no reason. What? Give a small gift. Give a card. Buy something from the 99 cent store. Why? Does it have to be a holiday? No. Does it have to be your birthday? No. Just because. Just because you're thinking about them. Just because they're special. Just because they mean something to you. Just because they're valued. We want to be valued. We as human beings, no matter how big of an ego we might have, no matter how much we don't, we think we don't need one another, we want to be loved. We want to feel loved. We want to be valued. Think about it. It's not always about us. It's about someone else too. So why not? Why not buy a gift for someone? Just because. Number nine, I think. Oh, number ten. It has to do with small children again. This is something that I've picked up myself, is when you're speaking to a small child, I like to crouch down or even get on my knees because most of the time, the child is looking up, looking up, listening to you. It's kind of hurt, actually. Make them feel special. Believe it or not, you're the adult. You'll always be in control, but it's okay if they get to look down and talk to you. Trust me, it's all right. And that's it. These are probably my top 10 things you can do to make this world a better place and to change your world. And I hope it causes a ripple effect in your community. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys try some of these ideas out. Again, it costs you nothing. Maybe the small gift part, maybe the note part, a little bit. But what a, the biggest expense that it costs you is you and your time. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to my old subscribers. And I hope to see you guys real soon again. Bye.